to our houses. Uh, Sell-off going to play out, right? It's, it's sort of... We've run out of superlatives to talk about just the various ways that it's been record-breaking. We have run out of superlatives, and I think that's everyone's question, right? We come in every morning and we think, where is the bottom? Is this going to be it? Um, I, I don't think that we're at a point where people um, can call it... You know, Goldman Sachs came out and said they see a 2,000 level on the S&P 500. We're not there yet. Uh, and, and that is really the big question, and that's mm. what investors are starting to focus on. Uh, I think, you know, the issue now, this is going... Uh, well, you're looking at the health implications of this, but now investors are starting to look and count the economic impact of what we're seeing, airlines being on the front line. Um, uh, but there's all sorts of other businesses uh, out there that are likely to be impacted, and I think this is becoming uh, the focus of investors. But it is really, really difficult. As you said, you come in every morning and you wonder... How much further can it go? Mm. We saw the Australian market tumble almost uh, 10% uh, yesterday. You saw the uh, the, the, the huge sell-off in the US. Uh, it, and, and, it, and it's hard. Um, you might see some stability, but I think it is really anyone's guess how much further uh, this, uh, this has to go. No wonder our former guest, uh, Al Bradis, was telling us that we actually need more in terms of liquidity injections. Look, that's right. Liquidity is becoming one of uh, the major concerns uh, of investors in this type of market. Uh, JP Morgan came out and pointed out that we're seeing a record low of liquidity in U.S. equity futures. It is a startling number, but it is seven times worse than some of the lowest levels we saw during uh, the global financial crisis. And that's partly responsible for the magnitude and volatility of these moves that we have seen in the markets. And the Fed's attempt to hit uh, US dollar funding markets with liquidity has to some extent fallen short, and investors do want to see more in terms of, of, of fiscal packages. And, and look, there's all sorts of other measures of funding uh, of, uh, that, that are showing funding stress and that are coming under pressure. In the repo market, uh, the gap between LIBOR and the overnight index swaps uh, are also showing sign of stress. You're also seeing the price of credit default swaps, and that's you know, the insurance, again, missed payments uh, by companies. That's also blown out, as well as spread. So there are all sorts of indicators out there uh, that, are, that are concerning uh, to investors as they try to navigate uh, this really very tough and very volatile uh, markets.